Summer's coming. You want to stay as cool as possible. Hey, what's going on? My name is Scott, and I help to keep police officers alive and well. Welcome back for another episode slash video of the 10 Code Mindset. And I want to keep you cool during summer. Well, as cool as you can, because police uniforms, they're not exactly the most comfortable. Like the people who go to corporate America in an air conditioned building, you don't exactly have that luxury when you're particularly working on patrol. So since summer is coming, I want to tell you that I made the mistake early on in my career about buying some cheap clothes to wear under my uniform. And that was a big mistake because the clothes would start to wear and get really, really badly frayed because of the vest rubbing on it. The shirt stays, the lower hanging button shirt. It's it, seriously, it, it would fray this stuff and it wouldn't last very long. So even though prices are up now, I still say for the sake of quality and comfort and being as cool as you can in uniform during the summer, you have to invest a little bit in what you wear, particularly if, if you work 12 hour shifts, that's a long time time to be uncomfortable. So let's start from the top and work our way down, which means, yep, I'm going to have to talk about underwear. Gosh, dang it. The internet's going to know what kind of underwear I put on. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so for a shirt, I recommend the Under Armour UA Tech 2.0. It can keep you cool as cool as you can be considering you're wearing a uniform shirt plus the vest. Wear your vest, please, but never ever have a light cotton shirt under the uniform. Oh gosh, no. You want to talk about stinking really quick. You want to talk about holding the sweat, not drying very fast. Oh my, yes. Cotton shirt like that. Heck no. You need that high quality polyester shirt from Under Armour and get it black. I know you might want to wear white, but I prefer a black shirt. Now here comes the awkward part. Me as a guy, I wear boxer briefs. Wore them all during patrol because if you wear just regular underwear, the uniform shirt is rather long. Goes to a quarter to a midway down your thigh, and then you have the shirt stay hooked onto your shirt. In my experience, when I had the regular underwear, all that stuff was rubbing on my legs. I couldn't stand it. So boxer briefs are a lot more comfortable. I dang sure didn't wear boxers because heaven forbid I get into a foot chase. Well, if you're a guy, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say any more than that. <laughs> but it's the same thing. You want to wear light fabric that can dry very fast, won't hold moisture as much. So you can ultimately be as cool as you possibly can be in uniform. I don't mean like cool as in the coolest person socially, because that was impossible for me. I'm talking about like coolest temperature. <laughs> so once again, the Under Armour UA Tech, the the uh, the boxer jocks. L ladies, I can't speak for you. I don't, I don't know what, what you wear. So this is for the guys. Sorry, but uh, still, you know, as if talking about underwear wasn't awkward enough. All right, next socks. What kind of socks would I recommend? Well, I've already made a video about Under Armour Valsets boots, which I would recommend still because in the summertime, they're a little bit more breathable than the thick leather boots. However, what do you want to wear under there? Well, in the Marines, I was taught to wear white socks under your black socks because it helped absorb the sweat. Now that did help me. But when I found these TCK socks, wow, my feet could breathe and I didn't have to wear two pairs of socks. So I'm a big fan of the TCK socks. I still have some of those socks. I gave some away as I did my shirts, not the underwear though. Heck no, that no, that's awkward. That stays. And then I'm trying to sell the boots right now. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments section. I'll get in touch with you. I'll put them on a big discount. But when it comes to the uniform, that's it. Like invest in good quality clothing. And I recommend the Under Armour light material and then the TCK socks that are durable, but also help your feet to breathe. These are my recommendations. And remember, don't cheap yourself out on this kind of stuff. But also when it comes to feeling cool, it goes beyond just the clothing. Obviously, it can get very miserable, especially if you work in a humid environment with just the amount of sweat. You just feel miserable at times, particularly when you're outside for a long time. There's an incident that happened outside and it's taking a while to get everyone away. Wh whatever the case is, and that sun is just beating down on you, and then that you add humidity onto it while wearing a police uniform, it can be uncomfortable. So what I did also was I made sure I stayed hydrated. I can hear all former Marines who are cops now saying, drink water. Well, it's true. You have to drink water. Now, my primary care doctor said you have to drink half of your body weight in ounces. That's what he recommended to me. Maybe someone else has recommended something to you. But the thing is, you have to stay hydrated because when you get clammy and your, your sweat slows down, from what I've learned, that that's a bad sign. Or if you're really, really thirsty, that's a bad sign that you're already on the way of being dehydrated or you already slightly are 
dehydrated. But drinking water is not just the key to staying hydrated. When your body is battling the heat, guess what else is needed? Nutrients, sodium, potassium, and other vital things are needed in like electrolyte levels. That's important in your body. A lot of stuff is needed regarding your health to help you be healthy in the heat. I'm no doctor. This is what I've learned. So what I would always advise is even when you don't feel like eating something because the heat suppresses some people's appetite, they don't feel like eating a dang thing. You need to get some nutrients in you. You need to have certain things in you. So sodium, potassium are very important. So eat healthy foods that can provide your body with these things. So I always packed a huge bottle of water to have with me in the patrol car, where if I got stuck somewhere and I couldn't get back to the police department or a satellite office, I had enough water with me. I think I said it like two videos ago. You you have to bring your lunch. That's what I recommend. You bring your lunch so you can control the amount of healthy food you have with you during a shift, particularly a 12-hour shift. More better you feel because of what you eat, the more better you're more equipped, in my opinion, to handle the heat and humidity that's coming this summer. But what I also did was I would bring two washcloths and put some water on them and, and dab my face with them and then put them over my head just to cool me off a little bit. And then, you know, maybe turn the uh, defrost on on the car, throw the washcloth up on the dashboard where the cold air was hitting it. So it would cool it down a little bit and put it over my forehead. And then if you're really desperate, you can sing Christmas carols to make you think of cold weather. (laughs) That's if you're desperate. Avoid these sugary drinks that come across as healthy for you. Now, the the sugary drinks can actually affect you in a bad way uh, when it comes to surviving in the heat. Uh, But And also, and I know this is blasphemy, but limit your caffeine because caffeine, from what I've learned, can hurt you when it comes to staying hydrated. So yeah, one cup of coffee, sure. I I mean, I drink one cup of coffee, but I've, I've known cops that sometimes it's like they drink coffee by the pot, not by the cup. And from what I've learned, that's not good for you outside if it's if it's hot. And if it's human, I mean, it's not really good for you anyway, but uh, okay. Anyway, enough of the blasphemy, right? So I hope this video was helpful for you. There are links down below to the equipment that you can get to help you make it through the summer without being that case that passes out. You have to have your internal temperature taken in a very uncomfortable way. (laughs) And people will make fun of you because you passed out or you couldn't go through a job performance. Like seriously, the heat gets the best of them and you're not able to carry out the duties of the job, which is actually very serious. But your friends, as long as no one gets hurt, uh, your coworkers, your friends, they'll still make fun of you and they won't let you live it down. That's what cops do. So make sure you click to my left for a free gift and to my right because YouTube says it's the next best video for you. Take care of yourself and may God bless.